What up, Manos? It's your boy Shocker360 from Manos.com, and here we go with some ranked matches, guys. I've been playing a lot of Madden Ultimate Team lately, and guess what? I feel like I'm getting weak. I feel I haven't been playing money games. I haven't been playing tournaments. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and get back on the grind. It's 2015. We're gonna start off with a blast. And right here we got two turn. I mean, two uh, actually playoff teams. This is the Carolina Panthers and the and the Lions. And I am the Lions right now, guys. Uh, now. Um, a lot of controversy this weekend, but first of all, congratulations to the Carolina Panthers who beat the Arizona Cardinals, and I actually think the, Car the Carolina Panthers do not have a chance against the Seahawks next weekend, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know. You think the Carolina Panthers are going to be able to overcome the defending champions, the Seattle Seahawks? I, I really doubt it. Uh, they have no chance. I think they're going to get destroyed, but you never know, man. I mean, last week, Cam Newton was iffy you know but he got the job done and, and got him past the first round that wild card game and they're advancing to play the seahawks next week so i'll be ready for that now the cowboys and the lions a lot of controversy there guys y'all know uh, a lot of people are, are talking shit saying that uh that uh the the refs gave the cowboys a game but it's mostly uh, the people that i've seen is mostly either giants fans Redskins fans or Philadelphia fans talking all that shit. So, hey, it is what it is. Cowboys advance. It's not like the Lions didn't have their chance. I mean, Demarcus Lawrence, uh, you know, wanted to run with the ball. Hey, guess what? He fucking fumbled. And then that pissed me off, though. That freaking pissed me off when Demarcus Lawrence fumbled. And, uh, you know, he could have ended the game at two minutes. But then he decided to run with the ball. Like, what are you doing? And then they show Leon Lett. He's the coach of the defensive line. And Leon Lett did the same bullshit in the Super Bowl, I think, uh, way back in the 90s, man. So I remember, I was like, Leon Lett, what the hell are you teaching these guys, man? Like, just fall on the ball. That's all you got to know. I mean, I mean, those people should know that since high school, even middle school, man. But anyways, it is where it is. But guess what? Demarcus Lawrence made it up and got that sack at the end. And, you know, guess what? He ended that game and uh, the Cowboys advanced for the first time and I don't know how long to the next round of the playoffs to see the Green Bay Packers on a classic, another classic matchup, guys. I remember the 90s when the Cowboys, I was in love with the Cowboys, man. Always Green Bay Packers against Cowboys. Either the Packers or the Cowboys will end up going to the Super Bowl. And uh, it is what it is right now, man. We're gonna start a new tradition. They're looking really good. Tony Romo's, man, as the first time I watched him in a while, guys. I remember watching him when he was wild. Uh, kind of immature uh, of his style of play. He was just running all over the place, making plays. Now you can tell that he's more composed. He looks like a real quarterback, man. A lot of respect to Tony Romo for all the criticism he's been taking, including myself, you know, telling that he sucks, all that stuff, man. And, you know, he's grown a lot, man, since I, I you know, I never even watched the Dallas Cowboys pass this year because, like I told you guys, man, um, Tony Romo would disappoint me, or not Tony Romo, but the offensive line, the defense was horrible, you know, and they were just didn't look hopeful this season, but looking at the way they were playing, I mean, uh, everybody was picking it up. Defense, there's a new defense, and they all stepping it up, man, they still got years to go. Uh, Murray, he's a beast. Uh, Brian, beast. Uh, Tony Romo, his... He's, uh, I mean, he could tell he's a true leader. You got Jason winning, man. You got the complete package. And I think the Cowboys, I don't want to jinx them, man. So I really don't want to say anything. But I think the Cowboys might make it to the Super Bowl, guys. They have to get over the Green Bay Packers. And whoever beats the Green Bay Packers is going to get to the Super Bowl. I think the Green Bay Packers can beat the Seahawks, man. And actually, the Green Bay Packers beat the Cowboys. But at the same time, the Seahawks are the defending champions. They've been there, and they, they're still hungry for more, man. And if it could be the first time the Seahawks actually, uh, that, that a team goes back-to-back. -back. It's been a while since the team has gone back-to-back -back Super Bowls, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while, man. So, hey, this could be this could be the year, guys. This could be the year. Actually win two Super Bowls. Not like the Patriots that go every year and they lose one and then they don't win one like four years later you know so stuff like that so let me know what you guys think here in the comment section guys by the way uh people online rank uh it's a lot easier because i got a super custom so i could run the ball i could pass the ball now thanks to my ultimate team because that's all i've been doing especially with a long pass style and um i want to make you guys a bet guys uh i bet you guys anybody who wants to bet me you gotta send me a picture of how many coins you got because i'm gonna bet you 100,000 coins all right 
and you got more than 100,000 coins, send me a link on the comment section, all right, with a picture of the coins you got, and I'm gonna go ahead and accept the bet with you guys, all right, with one of you guys, I'm gonna choose one of you guys that the Cowboys are gonna win, all right, I'm, I'm with the Cowboys, all right, I bet you 100,000 coins that the Cowboys are gonna win this next week against the Green Bay Packers, 100,000 MUT coins, all right, and make sure you show me the picture, all right, and then show me a picture with your PSN, and make sure you uh, go ahead and tell me that you want to make that bet with me. You do it, hey, that's fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and post it in the video. Make sure everybody knows who you are, and make sure everybody knows that I'm making that bet with you. And at the end, I'll pay up. If we lose, I'll pay up. If we win, guess what? Make sure you pay up. All right. So that's how we're gonna do, it, guys. Uh, another thing, I want to invite you guys to the Ice Bowl. This game is pretty much done. This was a horrible player right here we just destroyed him with the detroit lions guys anyways i want to invite you guys to the ice bowl make sure you guys go register at manos.com it's a 50 dollars prize this saturday it's a nice little ps4 and xbox one tournament make sure you go to manos.com it's free entry starts at 3 p.m you have 24 hours to advance to the next round so if you can't find your opponent on saturday you can play them on sunday before midnight and still be able to play that first round so um until there's your boy shaka from manos.com we're back and ready to go guys bye guys, down here below for more tips more strategies more schemes more gameplays more tournaments and more giveaway prices later it's your boy shock 360 hit that like button don't forget comment and subscribe